Where's, uh, where's Nick today? Nick is in the driveway waiting for his sportsman's guide package to arrive. Is that the bonus thing? What's the bonus thing? So Nick's been killing it at work. So we said blank check anything you want at sportsman's guide. Use coupon code WARPOET. You can have whatever you want. Probably go with the bear. 11 big ones. Yeah, this one's going to sting. $11,000 sniper rifle, boats, power generators. Oh, man, check this out. We finally came in. This is my own pair of genuine military surplus bulletproof underwear. Did it come with any pants? So, of all the things you could have bought, bulletproof underwear. All the things I could have got. I mean, it just seemed like, why not protect what's important, you know? So, went online, have my blank check, use code WARPOET, and I got my own pair of bulletproof underwear. I'm ready to go. Okay. This was your decision. It does. It's a good choice, man. Way to go. You earned them. All right, folks, we're talking about everyday carry belts. These are my three favorite everyday carry belts. I've been on this journey for quite a while, and I'm pretty picky. Suffice it to say that if you went with any one of these, it'd probably be a good thing. You can't go wrong with it. However, I'm picky, and I'll talk you through a little bit of my journey because, hey, man, belts you're wearing every single day, and if you're wearing knives and guns on you and you're interested in comfort, and to be able to conceal very well, the belt is really, really important. The gun's important, the holster's really important, and the belt is really important as well, as you could have a really jam up ball or holster, but if the platform that that sits on sucks well, you're gonna be uncomfortable and you're not gonna be able to conceal nearly as well as the holster may be built for. So, first and foremost, I've been with this Aries Aegis belt, Aries gear, all these belts are uh, links are below in the description. Use those links. They end up helping us. If you hate me, then don't use those links and you can stick it to me. Grab the free info and then off to the races. I get it. That's fine. But Aries gear belt right here. This is the enhanced version. This one goes for about 130 bucks for the enhanced version. The normal version, the enhanced basically means it's a little bit tougher. Like if I can hold this straight out, uh, it, it, it's like, holy smokes, this thing is very rigid. You could beat someone to death with it, and it wouldn't be a whip. It'd be blunt force trauma. So uh, the enhanced is intense. If you go with the normal one, which isn't quite as tough, it ends up being about $100. These things also, I just checked on Amazon and the size, and I checked the website for these guys, Aries Gear, and it looked like they were sold out in most sizes. It's about a three to five week lead time on some of these. So the weight sucks and the price sucks. They're at least $100. However, they're really good if you wanted to carry a lot of weight. So here's my 19, Glock 19 with an extra mag. And let's say you were uh, doubling up and you had a cool knife on there as well. And who knows what you have in your Batman utility belt. You're really motivated about everyday carry. You're carrying a lot of weight. The thicker, tougher belt may be a little bit better in terms of load-bearing capacity. However, to be able to conceal that really well, you have to have it cinched down really, really tight, which for me, my old ranger back, that sucks after a while. After about day three or four of carrying, my lower back is screaming, and I just want to be able to downsize to something that's a little bit more comfortable. So anyway, the reason where I really like this, the price sucks, the lead time sucks, uh, the load bearing capacity is really good and the ability for it to conceal, if you cinch it uncomfortably down, it really conceals well. Now it's so thick, I mean this pushes out a good bit, so if I'm wearing a t-shirt, this thing kind of makes almost like a spare tire going around my waist. With all of these belts, I'll warn you that the buckles can be big, especially if you carry in the appendix orientation where you have mass right here and this big thick buckle sticking out as well. It just pushes everything out too far. So I recommend with all of these, you put the belt buckle on the very far side so that you don't have to print. This other belt, the one that I'm currently wearing, has no real belt buckle, it's just that. So you can put it anywhere you want. But these buckles, I always put on the side. If you're a fan of the old grease uh, 
movies, Grease Lightning, the T-Birds wore their belt buckles over here so they didn't scratch their cars leaning over. So anyway, you can T-Bird out and we're going to bring it back in style. It's going to be cool. Oh my goodness. The dad jokes continue. Anyway, you can cinch that down. What I really want in an everyday carry belt is something where I can conceal my gun really well. And then when I go to sit down, and especially when I eat a lot, all this is pushing into your guts and that can be uncomfortable. But if you can discreetly and even through your shirt, be able to adjust. So look, fat and happy and then tight and cinched up. And I can do that through my shirt so nobody notices. Tight and then loose. That is awesome. But you can kind of notice, see this ring sticking around like I got a big spare tire? If I zip that in, even with a t-shirt and especially with a gun under there, Guys, if you like my holsters, links are down below in the description as well. These are my tier one holsters, and this is the one with the ulti clip so that I don't have to wear a belt to be able to cinch this down. I'm carrying this probably half the time, and the other time it's the Glock 19. Anyway, nice little sidebar there. So, you can notice with a t-shirt, if I suck this in real tight, the gun disappears well enough. This is a pretty tight shirt. The gun disappears pretty well, but you can notice this spare tire thing right here, and that's because the belt is just intensely thick and big, and it's not my favorite anymore, though it has served me very well for a long time. That's the Ares gear belt. But on to better things. So good job. You're officially retired. You've been wonderful, old friend. It's not personal. I'll move into the one that I am currently rocking. This is a breath of fresh air at $35. I ended up co-branding this because I liked it. Uh, I really like working with Blue Alpha Gear. They're a fulfillment center as well. We do a lot. Our ankle medical kits are, create, are, are actually made by them. It's our product. They make it for us. So anyway, Blue Alpha Gear is awesome, and we have a close partnership with them. So this you can find on my website, warriorpoetsociety.us. $35. I like this because still it has structure. You see, so it holds up, which means it's good for load-bearing capacity. Not as good as the Aries belt, but every bit good enough to carry a 19, especially when it's cinched down. I like that it's minimalistic. I can wear this, this buckle basically anywhere I want, and when I do it in this attitude, I run the buckle all the way over here. I'll show you kind of my normal setups here. It's going to be a long video, guys. Sorry, but everyday carry is life, right? So anyway, I'll cinch this down, run it through the belt loop, and I'll take this clip and basically play it all the way over here. This has Velcro right here, and if I put it just at the end right there, there's my sit, sitting down fat and happy stance where I have my 19 right here. Good to go. The belt is, uh, the loop is way over here where it's not bothering anything. And even in a t-shirt, this is concealing pretty well. I don't have as much of that spare tire mark. And if I cinch this down, basically pull and uh, around right here where it witnesses on the Velcro, now it's going to suck in pretty darn well for, for a t-shirt. And so I don't have that rigid footprint quite as much with a spare tire as the other one. When I'm with a t-shirt, it just has to be pretty darn tight. And so typically with a t-shirt, I'll go 43. If I'm wearing a collared shirt, I'm always work carrying my 19. So that's generally just where I'm at with this stuff. Uh, if I'm sitting down to be fat and happy, all I have to do is basically discreetly come over here, do this, discreetly go, but in public, nobody noticed that background noise anyway. So it's just right there and it's that kind of move. And if I'm getting up, you know, take a few steps, I just basically grab, cinch down, uh, grab, cinch down tighter, and it's like that. It's not quite as cool guy discreet over here, but I'm saving a lot of money at $35. Of, it's, it's got the best of all worlds, and it's the best budget option. It's got structure, it's comfortable, and in one move I can get it looser or tighter. Just like so. So this belt ends up being a pretty big win. I've been carrying this. My Glock 43, this is with the Ulti Clip design right here. And the, the point of this is whether I'm wearing gym shorts, if I want to be able to conceal a little bit better in a t-shirt, these Ulti Clips basically cook on the pants, not on the belt. And it latches down really tough. So if I wasn't wearing a belt, I wouldn't need to be... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't need a belt. I can also tuck in my t-shirt behind these clips. I'm turning this into a holster video, and it's not meant to be. 
But anyway, I can be able to do that and still be able to draw. Good to go. But this is my 43, and it is much, much nicer for uh, concealing. So there we go. And man, that, that's, that's way more comfortable. And I want to loosen it up. Go ahead and pop right there, and I'm loose. Just that easy. Cool. So this is the other design. These are the two orientations I'm usually carrying it. I'll go ahead and say it right now. Show this because somebody asked. Sometimes I'll carry this clinch pick as well. I'm carrying this more and more. Basically, this goes up under like so. And oh my goodness, there it is. Anyway, clinch pick action. This is a good everyday carry setup for me. This is currently what I'm rocking. Wanted to show you a third belt, and this is a cool option as well. This is $35. The Aries is $100. This is weighing in around $50 or $60, and it's a pretty darn cool belt. So let's check this one out. So this belt, pretty cool. Instead of having to do all the different sizes that the Aries is, this is definitely an improvement. It's still got the good structure that you want. You see it's holding its shape. So uh, proper thickness without unnecessarily bulking out. It's also a good bit skinnier right here. So it's gonna certainly be more bulk than this, which means a little bit harder to conceal, but not too much. But this is certainly thinner than the big block. This monster right here, which I just wasn't happy with. I don't like the look. I don't like that it's just a big block. This is thinner, looks cool. These are next belt, and they have them in leather. They have all kinds of different designs. Overall, I think this is a winner. They're somewhere around 50 or 60 bucks. What you do is you get this, and it's kind of in a one size, and then you'll end up looking at all these little marks on the inside for your waist size. Then you'll go ahead and cut it. Once you cut it, you can't put it back, so it's better to start a little bit fatter than you think you are, and then cut it down. Then you'll end up screwing this into place here so it's very adjustable and you're not going to have that big monster lead time. The inside right here, you'll see all these divots right here and there's basically a ratcheting system so you can tighten this up. This is the inside of the belt. Tighten this up and then there's this little release lever right over here. Let me turn it back in like this. There's a little release valve right here that you're going to pull out away from your body and then this is going to loosen up as so. So, let me go ahead and put it on. Talk amongst yourselves. Let me, <laughs> let me get this on. Very good. So, pretty good option right here. I can just very discreetly lock it in, and then I can pull this out and it ends up loosening up. So, another good option, you have your uh, um, hot, too hot, too cold, warm cup of porridge kind of options here in terms of price. I think this is a pretty good option. And again, check below in the links. Those links help me. And so uh, pick your poison. Anyway, these are the three everyday carry belts. I've been doing this one some, this one the most, but still the old faithful Aries. Thank you for being a good friend for about two years. Anyway, train hard, train smart. We'll see you next time, guys. I mean, who needs pants? Bulletproof underwear. Look at this. I mean, I could take I could take a shot from a 22, a nine millimeter. I could take shrapnel from an IED and not have to worry about the the, the protection of my. I get the point. You, I get the exactly. point. Exactly. Bulletproof underwear. Wow, that's that's that's. Interesting. You want to know what? It only costs about $33. You are one financially stuck. If, yeah. if you want, I'll, I'll share them with you. You know, y'all can wear them Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. You've got Tuesday, Thursday, or anytime you have a date night, just put on your bulletproof underwear. I'll think about it.